what's good YouTube and today I'm gonna show you a tutorial on how to include models into your, your 3d game yeah, I know many people have been having problem with this which you shouldn't because it's so easy to do and this is also for noobs you know people that's new to to the game maker community and the yo-yo games all right first we're gonna start off with the programs you're gonna need three programs other than game maker you're gonna need uv mapper you're gonna need uv mapper and misfit model 3d and also game maker model creator these three programs is going to be available in the description in the bottom of this video okay let's get started i'm gonna start off with misfit model 3d i'm just create a simple basic model you know nothing fancy you know, nothing fancy you know i'm just create a box whatever create and this is my box I might just you know alright now that I've got my box you want to go to file and you want to go save as and I'm just going to save as um test dot obj so it recognizes the um extension hit okay close that out and you want to open up uv mapper classic there's other uv mapping programs out there but there's only two that's available for free this and um the lift to unwrap but i prefer this program because it's better um I'm gonna import. Uh, let me see. Dang. Oh, test. Here you go. Hit OK. You, what you want to do is you want to select or edit select or hit new map. I'm just gonna put it in box, so it gives me all faces. And I don't know if you can see that, but as I have, I have about you know five boxes you know, five or six uh -huh. all right now as you got that you want to go file and you want to click save model yeah just click ok you know and I'm, we're going to replace that model test object hit save yes replace it close it out now you want to open up misfit model again because when you import it straight into game maker model creator there's a glitch because it doesn't read um uv mapper script you know because the object has different you know different programs export different object scripts and only certain programs can read them being that game maker model creator was created by game maker you know it's a little bit different so we're gonna import that model back in so it you see you know look like kind of like faded like it has a texture and you want to hit save save as and you want to place that same model hit okay okay close that out and now you can open up game maker model creator now let's just hit load a model file let me see whatever that what the hell man i hate when i all right here you go did you see our model uh -huh. she looks pretty nice and you have the texture map i'm just gonna go ahead and export the texture map um I might just say it as box text TX or whatever. So there's that. And I'm just gonna select the whole thing. I'm gonna go to the top or the side. I wanna bring this I wanna 
rotate this rotation negative 90 degrees note whenever you import a model into game it can always rotate it negative 90 degrees on the x-axis why because game maker and other programs have different coordinates you know different axis coordinates so game maker is different yeah, and there it is it's straight from the way i create it and misfit model creator okay now i'm just gonna go ahead and um edit the texture so i'm just gonna open up paint and which you all should have on your computer uh, this um file open let's look for that texture let me see combat models Uh, this our texture. I'm just gonna you know paint certain colors. It don't even matter. Paint this green. Paint the middle purple. It's just so you get the hang of it. The idea of how to import models and how to UV map them. And just hit save. Save that. And go to settings and model game make a model creator and hit change and we're gonna put that do you want to be transparent no and just put it on other texture press ok and there it is this is how to texture map your model now I'm gonna import it into the game engine first I have to before I do that I'm gonna have to save it, so I'm just gonna hit save current model. I'm just gonna save it as box test underneath game maker model files. Save it. There it goes. And now, when, once you're in your 3D game engine, you wanna go to resources and you wanna hit include and you wanna press add, load, go to documents um just go to wherever you saved your model because i know i say my let me see man where the hell i put that model at oh here it is right in front of my face and you want to check store an editable file i'm just gonna copy the extension copy that hit okay you know check remove it again hit okay okay now for this you know most people have a difficult for now um here's the variable h h h you know would be the, the creation variable for that and h h h you know is what loads and creates this and that's what you need for that and um Amen. and um you wanna um paste the um name of your model file and we're gonna add that texture wow well. i um let me see what i say there combat models oh box okay hit okay we're gonna copy that uh, as our name okay create event and we're gonna paste it and got our texture you know i notice i have hh again you know this is our model id hh is our model id variable so hh this and this is our texture id variable tox same thing for three d three d draw model textures the same shit you know z i'm gonna put z as a variable because if i run the game it's gonna say it's an unknown variable of course so i'm gonna put i'm gonna put it as for so get off the floor hit okay okay and we're just gonna put it right here in the uv 
And we're just going to run it and close this out so Hypercam won't lag. And there it is. Just the way I created it. See, one side green, black, you know, and the other. And this is how to import your model into Game Maker and to UV map it. Thanks for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment.